This is the B.O.B. in preview party. We're here to bless the session. I'm Giles Peterson and this is Dingle and it's brilliant. And we're going to go for a big walk tomorrow morning. I'm going to check out the beach. I'm going to maybe even get on a boat and fish some sea bass and get on it. Because it's all about this part of the world. We're the most westerly part of Europe. Can you believe it? Yeah. And watch out for the B.O.B. Festival. It's coming soon. So, Giles, you're very welcome to Dingle in County Kerry. Um, what do you make of it so far? Well, um, it's always good to be picked up by two ladies at the airport. Normally, I get picked up by kind of men who like jazz. <laughs> so that's kind of good. And we've had a nice meal. Had some fresh salmon from a very good place. Where I spoke to the, um, the, 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 the chef in French. He was from Brest in um, Brittany. That was good. Um, I feel good. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. So um, you've played in Ireland a lot of times. When was the first time you actually played over here? First time I played here it was probably 20 years ago. I was telling the ladies that I did a thing on the Pat Kenny show at the time. <laughs> old Pat. Yeah, I was with uh, my MC called Galliano, and he ended up um, being my MC and suddenly having to perform a live show to the entire nation of Ireland with the in house band. And he did a Curtis Mayfield cover, which is Freddie's Dead. He called it Frederick Lies Still, and that was his big, um, you know world ex exclusive so it was great and i've been coming here ever since i come to dublin quite a lot play at the um at the uh, the festival which is called the what's it called electric picnic electric picnic, electric picnic yeah, in yeah, played, Valley, there a few yes. times, played there a few times and i haven't been to galway for a while but i'm gonna be there tomorrow first time in dingle um, I feel like I'm quite far away. From yeah, the, yeah, it feels like I'm in sort of, you know, it doesn't, people speak Irish here. Yeah, yeah, if you're all fluent in Irish, we'll, we'll mm. teach you a few words as Love the night it. goes on, you know. Yeah, feels good. But you know, tonight will be good. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it is and to see Galway, because as I said, I haven't been to Ireland properly for a couple of years. I've been spending a lot of time in France and in Asia, um, Japan a lot, America quite a lot. So... It's been a while, so um, I'll be able to tell you properly at the end of the night, but I'm sure, you know, people are up for the crack here, right? Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> so you're playing in the most westerly nightclub in Europe. Mm, first. If you hadn't known me. that, yeah, it's, yeah, it is a first, yes. And uh, what what should we expect from you tonight? Well, well I'll look at the crowd, so, um, get, get, my, get my senses out, and um, have a pint of Guinness, and um, check it out. I think it's going to be energy, really. You know, I think people are up for quite an open, you know, people are very open-minded around the world now. So if you go on and just play old stuff all night people get a bit tired so for me it's really about mixing the new and the old getting a little bit african getting a little bit cuban i spent a lot of time in cuba recently producing records so i'm going to give it a little bit of the new world flavor and a little bit of hip-hop a little bit of you know i, mean, I was listening to the new canine at record at the moment which is yeah. great i mean and he's like got the, the the song for the world cup this year so i slip a little bit of that in a little bit of somalian hip-hop a little bit of dubstep a little bit of you know, a few old school classics, a bit of house. Yeah, it'd be fun. So a mixed bag is in store for the people of Dingle tonight. Yeah, if they're open-minded, then it will be a good night. Brilliant, brilliant. And uh, you mentioned the World Cup there. Will you be following it? Um, yeah, I will be. I'm, I'm on tour, though, unfortunately. So I can't just sit in front of the TV every day and watch three matches, which is dis disappointing because I'm completely... You know, I, I, I'm happy to watch Algeria against USA at midday, you know, properly, you know, yeah, but, yeah. but I won't be doing too much of that, but I'm really looking forward to it. And my festival, actually, I have a festival in the south of France, which is called the Worldwide Festival, and that's going to be taking place on the weekend of the final. So we've got a big screen set up. So hopefully it'll be England against France and there'll be a massive fight on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and Thierry Henry for another handball, I suppose. Yeah, if he's in the team. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're all right, Charles. Well, thanks a million for chatting with us, Giles. Uh, we're really looking forward to the gig and uh, best of luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to do that. <laughs> Sneered like, you know. Come in with the same shirt as the cameraman like. Hang on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>